Hi. In this video, we're going to take a look at complex numbers and operations with complex numbers. So how do we add, subtract, multiply, and divide complex numbers? So we're going to take a quick look at um, what an imaginary number is and how complex numbers differ from uh, just regular variables when you're doing operations. And then we've got six sample problems that we're going to go over to take a look even deeper. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, so i is defined as the square root of negative 1, i standing for imaginary. And what that allows us to do is take the square root of something like negative 25. Uh, so we can split up the negative 25 into um, 25 and negative 1, and then split it up into the square root of 25 and the square root of negative 1. So the square root of 25 is 5, but then the square root of negative 1, as we've defined, is i, and then the answer to this becomes 5i. So it allows us to take the square root of a negative number. Now an important concept when you're doing operations with complex numbers is i squared. So if i is the square root of negative 1, then i squared is going to be the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1, which just ends up being negative 1. So a very important concept when we're doing operations with complex numbers is that i squared is negative 1. So whenever we're doing uh, operations, we treat a variable just the, i just the same as any other variable. So if we had 5i plus 10i, we would get 15i. 4 times 3i, we would get 12i. But when we get a case like this, 6i times 5i, we'd get 30i squared. But rather than a regular variable, we've got to go one more step now because the i squared is equal to negative 1. So we've got to replace the i squared with negative 1. And this becomes 30 times negative 1 or just negative 30. Okay, let's take a look at how to simplify something. So if we have i in the denominator, uh, since i is defined as a square root, we can't have a square root in a denominator to have something fully simplified. So 5 over i, we can simplify that by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by i. So if we multiply the numerator and denominator by i, we're multiplying by 1. Uh, so we can do that. So the numerator is going to be 5i, and the denominator is going to be i squared. And again, we need to know that i squared is negative 1, and we're going to replace i squared with negative 1. So then 5i over negative 1 just becomes negative 5i. Now, if we have a more complicated, where we've got, um, that was just an imaginary number in the denominator. What if we have a complex number in the denominator? How would we simplify 3 plus 2i? Well, we're going to multiply it by something that's called the conjugate. So the conjugate of 3 plus 2i is going to be 3 minus 2i. And you'll see why we chose that particular thing in a second. Um, and it's just because that's going to help us cancel out so we have no more imaginary number in the denominator. Let's see how that's going to work. So if we multiply the numerator, the 3 times the 3 is 9, and the 3 times the minus 2i is going to be minus 6i. But let's take a look at what we do with the denominator. So the denominator, we've got to multiply 3 plus 2i and 3 minus 2i. So let's multiply this out by FOIL. Uh, the first two is going to get us 9. The last two, I mean the outers, is the 3 times the minus 2 is going to get us minus 6i. The inners, the 2i and the 3, is going to get us plus 6i. And the last two, the 2i and the minus 2i, is going to get us minus 4i squared. Now when we do the math here, the minus 6i and the plus 6i cancel out. And those middle two terms are always going to cancel out when we pick a conjugate. When we pick the same two terms but a different sign, those two middle terms are going to be the same, except with different signs, and they're going to cancel out. So those two are going to cancel out. We're just going to be well with 9 minus 4i squared. But we're going to replace that i squared with negative 1. So this becomes 9 minus 4 times negative 1, or 9 plus 4, or 13. So that whole denominator now has no imaginary number in it anymore. So it's just a whole number. So that denominator is 13 and then to do the final step to simplify this we just split it up into two parts the 9 over 13 
and the minus 6 over 13i. So let's take a look at six examples of doing operations with complex numbers. So in the first one, we're just adding two complex numbers together. Um, so when we add complex numbers, we just add the real part, and we get 11, and we add the imaginary part. 3 and negative 4 is minus 1i. And it's just like combining like terms. The 5 and the 6 are like terms. The 3i and the minus 4i are like terms. And we get 11 minus i. There's no reason to do anything different than with a regular variable because we just have i and not i squared. When we're subtracting complex numbers, uh, we need to remember that when we're subtracting this, we're subtracting both pieces. So we're subtracting the 5 and we're subtracting the negative 3. Uh, some people put a negative 1 here to think about um, distributing the negative 1. But either way, we're going to get 7 minus 5 is going to get us 2. And then the 2i minus a negative 3i is going to be 2i plus 3i or 5i. So this is going to get us 2 plus 5i is our answer here. And we're multiplying by distribution. We multiply the 3 times the 6 and the 3i times the 5i. And we get 18i plus 15 i squared. And now here's where we have a difference. If this was just an x or another variable, we would just leave it just like that. But because we have an i squared, and remember, i squared is the same as negative 1, we got to replace that i squared with negative 1. So we get 18i plus 15 times negative 1, or 18i minus 15. And just to put it in standard form, uh, we put the real part first and the imaginary part second. So we just can flip it around to make it in standard form. Negative 15 plus 18i. Okay, when we're multiplying, uh, we've got to multiply out by FOIL, so, um, or double distribution. Uh, so we're going to multiply the 3 and the 7. That's going to get us 21. We have to multiply the 3 times the minus 3i, or minus 9i. The 8i times the 7 gets us plus 56i. And then the 8i times the minus 3 gets us minus 24i squared. Now we've got to combine like terms. So these like terms. Um, and something with complex numbers, complex numbers are always going to look like this. So it's always going to be a real number and a complex part, an imaginary part. So if you have more terms than that, then you've got to simplify further. Um, so we're going to combine the like terms. We're going to get 21, 56 minus the 9 is going to get us plus 47i minus 24i squared. And now the key thing when we're doing imaginary numbers is that i squared equals negative 1. So we're going to replace this i squared with negative 1. 21 plus 47i minus 24 times minus 1. Or 21 plus 47i plus 24. Combine our like terms of 21 and 24, and we get 45 plus 47i. One real term and one imaginary term. Now here's two more complex numbers to multiply. You'll notice that um, these are conjugates like we talked about. Uh, so when we multiply the first two, we're going to get 16. And the two middle terms are going to cancel out. The 4 times minus 2 is negative 8i. The 2i times 4 is going to be plus 8i. 
and those are going to cancel each other out. And then the last two terms are minus 4i squared. So those two cancel, and we just get 16 minus 4i squared. Replace our i squared with negative 1. 16 minus 4 times negative 1, or 16 plus 4, or 20. Now in the last problem, we're dividing two complex numbers. So in order to divide two complex numbers, we have to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate, the conjugate of the numerator. So we're going to multiply both the top and bottom times 3 plus 4i. The conjugate is going to be the same two terms, but with a different sign. So let's take a look here. Let's do the numerator and denominator separately. So the numerator here is going to be 8 plus 3i times 3 plus 4i. Let's multiply that out. We're going to get 24 plus 32i plus 9i plus 12i squared. Combine our like terms. 24 plus 41i plus 12i squared. Replace our i squared with negative 1. We're going to get 24 plus 41i minus 12. When the i squared becomes a negative 1, it becomes minus 12. Then combine our like terms. The 24 minus 12 is 12 plus 41i. So that's just the numerator. So now let's figure out what the denominator is going to be. The denominator is going to be 3 minus 4i times 3 plus 4i. And this is just like the one we did in the previous example. We know the two middle terms are going to cancel out. That's why we pick a conjugate to do that, to get rid of the imaginary number in the denominator. So here we're just going to get 9 minus 4i squared, which becomes 9 plus 4 when the i squared becomes a negative 1, or 13. So this whole problem is going to simplify to the numerator 12 plus 41i and the denominator 13 and we can make it two pieces just by separating out 12 over 13 plus 41 over 13i. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments on this video or suggestions for future videos, just comment below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, you can do so right over here. And I've got another suggestion for you to watch right here. Thank you and come back again soon.